in this uh, session i am going to talk about uh, predicting numeric values uh, and one of the most important uh, technique that is associated with predicting numerical values is the regression technique so we would be uh, spending some time in terms of understanding this concept of regression and how to predict the numerical values now just to draw something parallel overall it's a supervisory learning process in the supervisory learning there are two broad headings one is the classification models where we are trying to predict the group of uh, the values and we have numerical prediction so in the under the classification we have so many algorithms k nearest neighbors naive bayes decision trees right we have uh, so many such kind of uh, algorithms that are uh, exist that that we have uh, already uh, seen we also uh, uh, have uh, looked at uh, classification rules various things which are targeted towards uh, the classification as a part of the supervisory learning now the other aspect of supervisory learning is the numerical prediction where here i am going to look at one of the most important uh, algorithm regarding the numerical predictions which is the regression model so we will try to understand what is this regression all about and within this regression Uh, the most popular form of regression is a linear regression and again within the linear regression we talk about a simple linear regression so we'll see what the simple linear regression is all about and uh, what is the role that is played by correlation in the process of regression then uh, an extension of simple linear regression called as multiple linear regression so once we get uh, a basic hold on the overall regression process we'll take an example and try to model the data uh, and try to do the prediction as well using this regression as a mechanism so just as a quick introduction to this world of regression it's one of the most important techniques where my objective is to estimate the numerical relationships so it's not a, a group predicting the group i'm trying to estimate a numerical relationships among the various data elements so one of the important measure of the numerical relationships earlier we might have looked at the correlation which talks about the strength of the relationship between the numerical variables the main objective of this regression analysis is i will use it to forecast numeric data i'll use it to predict the numeric uh, numerical variables and at the same time i will also look at the strength of a relationship how strong is the predictor how strong is a particular predictor linked with the dependent variable what is the size of the relationship between the predictor and the dependent variable so the regression actually identifies not just for predicting but also it looks at the size and the strength of the relationship between the dependent variable and the various predictor variable so if we if we have to simplify the whole process it is defining the relationship between a numerical dependent variable which is what we would be predicting and one or more numeric independent variable so all my dependent variables need to be numeric here and all, uh, so one dependent variable which is numeric and n independent or uh, predictor variables they also need to be numeric and regression as a process is quite comfortably used to model complex relationships among the various data element we are we are using various patterns 
between the variables, between the numerical variables. We are building a kind of a formula that is linking the dependent variable with the various independent variables. And based on them, the forecasting can be no, can be done for a new set of variables. So we have a large number of methods that we can use for any kind of a machine learning task out here. Now, within this linear regression is one form of the overall umbrella of regression model. The linear regression is one such form. So, we talk about uh, logistic regression, we talk about uh, Poisson regression, there are various other kinds of regression. So, regression, uh, linear regression is one such form of uh, the regression. Regression as such, as a definition is nothing but it's a kind of a relationship between the dependent variable and one or more independent variables. So, the only thing is, in case of linear regression, we say that the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable, it is following a straight line relationship. Which means, the equation that I am using to model the linear regression is y equal to a plus bx kind of a form, where y is my dependent variable, x is my independent variable. Now here, it is a very important assumption that the dependent variable is continuous. The word continuous means it is a numerical variable. It can't be a class or a categorical variable. If it is a class or a categorical variable, then it comes under the heading of classification models. Whereas if it has to come under the heading of regression models, the dependent variable should be a numeric variable. Now in this a plus bx, B is the slope, A is the intercept. So, by how much will my dependent variable increase or decrease when the independent variable X is increased or decreased by one unit? That is what is being indicated by the slope. And if the independent variable value is zero, what would be the value of the dependent variable is what is highlighted by the intercept. Now, this is the typical equation that we are trying to model. Coming to the world of machine learning, here my job is to identify what are the values of A and B such that the y equal to A plus Bx line that is getting created, it is doing a very good linkage between X and Y. So, if I look at the values of x, the values of y, I plot all of them. This kind of a plot where I am plotting all the values of x and y, we call it as a scatter plot. Obviously, we will look at it when we take up an example. Now, I want to design one single line like this, which is having the best fitting between the values of x and y which means the error between the various points and the line that we are drawing should be the least possible, least error. So, that particular line is what we are calling as the regression line. Now, within this world of linear regression, if there is only one independent variable, x, then we call it as a simple linear regression. If there are multiple independent variables, x1, x2, x3, so on, we call it as a multiple regression. And as I have already uh, highlighted, there are various other forms of regressions also. Especially, if my dependent variable is a binary categorical outcome, if my dependent variable is a binary outcome, I can use a logistic regression. If my dependent variable is a count related variable how many people die. So, if it is more of a count related variable, I can use a Poisson regression. Now, like this, there are many other forms of regression 
they all these forms of regressions come under the broad heading of generalized linear models. So, the, when we are uh, studying the generalized linear models, it means that we are applying regression to very various types of data.